What is up guys, Jeremy here and welcome back to another video. So I'm gonna show you guys how to get real weather version four on your iPhone. Now this is a really, really cool shortcut that puts live weather onto your home screen, onto whatever wallpaper or overlay you're running. And uh, it just looks awesome. Now a bit of a disclaimer, you will have to be on at least iOS 14.3 for this to work. I would recommend being on iOS 14.4 beta just because it does work the best on that firmware. So if you are below those firmwares, um, you will need to update or get on the beta firmware in order for this to work right. I will leave a free um, beta profile uh, link down in the description if you guys do want to update to iOS 14.4 beta. It's totally stable and it's gonna allow you to run this shortcut now you will be downloading the shortcut from the iHeaven Discord. I will leave the link for this down in the description. So just make sure you're part of iHeaven. It's an amazing place to be if you guys are looking to discover setups, um, jailbreak tweaks, themes, wallpapers, basically anything iOS related, jailbreak or non-jailbroken, iHeaven is the place to be. The link is in the description. Uh, so like I said, I will leave the Discord link for the download down in the description. Um, but once you click on that link, you will come to this shortcut here, which is RW4 installation. Just go ahead and click on get shortcut. And apparently it didn't wanna work that time, so we'll try it again. If you ever click on the shortcuts and they don't work, just try and click on it again. Sometimes they get a little wonky like that. Just swipe to the bottom here, add untrusted shortcut, and we can go into our shortcuts. And as you can see, there is the installation shortcut. Now this one shortcut is gonna allow us to download all of the rest of the shortcuts. So all we gotta do is click on it. And as you can see, we need to download each one of these. So the first one is the image files. So we can go ahead and click on that, click on okay. It's just letting you know it's a large file. You click on okay one more time there and one more time. Now it is downloading in the background. It looks like nothing's happening, but just give it a minute or so here to download. And I will be back once we get another pop-up. All right, so there is the pop-up there, zip file downloaded. All you gotta do now is click on okay, and it will jump you into your shortcuts folder. As you guys can see, now you just go into iOS weather, the uh, folder we made earlier, and you can see there's the zip file. All you gotta do is click on it and it will unzip it. And now at this point, you can delete that zip file just by clicking and holding and then click on delete. And as you can see, we have all of the files required for real weather version four to run. Now, if you guys mess with any of these, just keep in mind, you could break real weather version four. So if you change the names of any of this stuff, you can potentially break the shortcut from working. So I wouldn't mess with any of that until you know what you're doing. But we do have the files required now, so we can go back into shortcuts. And now pretty much what I'm gonna do is I'm going to apparently crash shortcuts. <laughs> Let's try that again. Uh, go back into installation. I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna download each and every one of these. It's basically the same step for all of them. So for the quick setup shortcut, we just click on it. We're directed to get shortcut here. And then we will bounce back to shortcuts. And then what you can do is just grab onto the side scroll there and swipe all the way to the bottom to add the shortcut. Now, like I said, I'm gonna go back to shortcuts, go back to installation, and I'm gonna go through and install each and every one of these modules. Okay, now as you guys can see, I have the final module to download. So let's go ahead and run it one, one more time. This is the final module version four shortcut, as you guys can see right there. So again, get shortcut. Go ahead and uh, swipe all the way to the bottom, just like so. Add untrusted shortcut. And now we have all of the shortcuts required for real weather version four to work. Okay, now the next thing we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna add two of these modules to our home screen as essentially bookmarks. They're, they're app icons, but they act as kind of a shortcut 
bookmark to run certain modules. So the first one you're gonna to wanna to do is quick settings, and then you're gonna to wanna to do real weather version four as well. So to do this, we can click on the three little dots there on the shortcut and click on it again in the upper right there. And then what you can do is you click on add to home screen and you can choose the icon if you wish. I'm gonna make mine match the theme I'm running. And uh, the first one we'll do as the Joker. I'm gonna clear the name so there's no name for it, but I know what it is because of the icon. Go ahead and click on add just like that. I'm gonna go ahead and click on done again and done one more time. And again, we're gonna add another icon for the main shortcut. So three dots again, three dots in the upper right. Add to home screen. I'm gonna choose the icon I wanna use for this. And the first one was Joker, so the second one's gonna be Batman. Clear the name and go ahead and add it to your home screen. I can go ahead and click on done and done again. Now, basically, Real Weather version 4 is going to run off of these two app icons. This is what makes version 4 so cool and so easy uh, to run once you have it set up. So what you can do is run the main one here. This is the quick settings. So this pops up a little menu here and it allows you to adjust a bunch of different stuff uh, with Real Weather. As you can see, you have general settings. Uh, select lock screen theme, lock screen background image, individual lock screen overlay, and then the same for the home screen there. You can close settings and then you have expert mode. I wouldn't do expert mode unless you guys consider yourself very much an expert. Uh, maybe if you're a tweak developer or you create uh, widgets, you would probably know how to use this, but for most of you, I wouldn't, I wouldn't touch expert mode. But we'll go into general settings first, and this is where you can change a bunch of general settings. Now the first two options here allow you to apply uh, real weather to the lock screen or the home screen independently. This is how you're going to change this. So I actually changed mine for the lock screen to zero so that it does not put real weather on my lock screen. So I changed that by default it's one. You just change it to zero. So when I run real weather, it won't put it on the lock screen. You guys will see that. The next thing you guys would probably want to do is change your username. I've already done this. Normally it says Eric right there. Eric is the creator of this shortcut. He's insane. But you'll want to change it to uh, your name. I put IDM for iDevice Movies. And then uh, the rest of it's kind of self-explanatory things. You guys can go through this and adjust it as needed. Keep in mind you can scroll, so it does keep going a bit there. But you can read what these are and... Um, pretty much change any of them to whatever you want. So that's totally up to you. So we'll go back to the main menu here. Now we do have um, independent control for themes, backgrounds, and overlays from this menu. I'm not gonna do any of that yet. I'm just gonna run the shortcut to show you guys the changes take effect. Now I know there's gonna be an error here and I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like from the home screen, what an error looks like. So if I run the shortcut here, you can see it just quit. It didn't complete the cycle. That means that there's an error somewhere with the shortcut. And to figure out what kind of error it is, you need to go into the shortcuts application. So once we go in there, if I run the real weather version four, as you guys will see, I'm getting the M2 general could not run get file. Uh, and it tells you kind of what you need to do. So for this error, if you guys get it, you go to shortcut details, and then you need to uh, have the iCloud drive enabled. Let's see here. It's in module two general. So if we go into the three dots there, the three dots again, as you can see, it needs access to your iCloud drive. So you're going to want to turn that on and that will fix the error I have. So we'll go back to the home screen. I'm going to go ahead and run the real weather again. As you can see, you, you get pop-ups here. Uh, once you have clicked on okay on all of these, you'll never get them again. So do keep that in mind. You will never get the pop-ups after you've done this one time. It's just a, a one-time deal. And then every time you change your setup in the future, it will always just do it automatically for you. And there you go. As you can see, the real weather is now enabled on the home screen and it is not on the lock screen because of the general settings. So again, we can go back into real weather and I'm gonna show you some other cool tricks. So like I said, you have independent controls, whether you want it on the home screen or the lock screen, you can choose 
either. You can have one for, you know, one and, and another for another. It's up to you how you want to do this. So I'm going to go back into the quick settings, general settings, apply real weather on lock screen. I'm going to enable that. So I'm going to click on one. So now when I run the shortcut again, it will apply it to the lock screen. Again, I'll click on run and just be patient as it runs these shortcuts. They do, do take a little bit of time. Um, so just wait for it to fully finish. Okay, now it is finished and we can go to the lock screen. And as you can see, there is real weather version four running on the lock screen. So now that you guys got the basics down, let's get a little bit more advanced with this. Okay, now getting into the more advanced stuff. Um, this is going to probably help you guys out, at least I hope so. There's three things you need to remember with real weather. There is the background, the overlay, and then the elements. So the overlay is the gray box, as you guys can see there. The background is the weather walls that's in the background. So the whole background image. And then the elements are all the little pieces of the weather that you can see on screen. So you have mostly cloudy, Rochester, highs and lows, feels like. So three different things and you have independent controls over all three things. The elements all have to be um, adjusted within the module itself. So if you want to move this weather icon down on the screen, you have to adjust it in the module. So the way you can do that is I actually have um, my own module down here, as you can see, RW4, under dash M4, under dash home screen, under dash IDM. So you want to basically name these modules pretty much the same. That last part, you can maybe put your initials so that you know it's yours or some custom name. But what you can do is you can simply duplicate one of the, the pre-built ones or that ones that comes with it just by going into duplicate. And now you have your own um, home screen module to edit. And within this module, you're going to edit all of the elements, elements only. So elements can be edited in that module and then elements can be edited in the lock screen module to fully customize this. And when I say elements, I mean just the date and the time, the elements that you're seeing on the screen. Otherwise, the other two elements, the overlay and the background, are completely customizable from the quick settings. So if I wanna change the background to not have the weather walls there, I can do home screen background image. I can go to the option whether I wanna show the weather walls or not. You click on that option, and then you change that to zero so that you're not using weather walls. I'll go ahead and click on done. And now I'm gonna go back to home screen background image. And now you can select a image for day or for night, depending on if it's day or night at your location. So it is still day here, so I'm gonna go ahead and select an image. You can select the image from the file app or from your photos app. Uh, just make sure that the, the size of the wallpaper that you guys are choosing is the correct dimension for your device. Otherwise, it might be a little weird. So I'm just gonna go ahead and allow it access into my photos. And then we're gonna go ahead and I guess I will just choose a different photo. Let's go ahead and do this one here. And now you guys will see that when I close settings and I run the shortcut, my background will change. So let's go ahead and run the shortcut. And once it's done, you guys will see the changes take effect. And there you go. And as you can see, I changed the background for Real Weather version four. And again, like I said, you can now adjust the overlay independently as well. So we're gonna go ahead and do individual home screen overlay. And this is gonna be the same concept. You can use individual home screen overlay or select one. So first we'll select one. And I'm gonna select it from the files application just because I still have version three and version two in here. So I'm gonna go, and as you can see, this is an old, uh, old folder here, but if I go into version three, I think that this uh, home screen layer by Moan is really cool. So I'll go ahead and select on that overlay I'm gonna close settings. Actually, I have to apply it. So let's go ahead and go back into the uh, individual home screen overlay. And then we're gonna use individual home screen overlay and we wanna change this to one to use our own. So click on done here, close settings, wait for the shortcut to finish. And now we can run real weather version four main shortcut again. And you guys will see the overlay will change as well. 
And there you go. As you can see now, uh, it is using a different overlay for real weather. Now, pretty much the next part is the theme. So that is what it's going to choose in the Shortcuts app as far as which module uh, three or four you create. This is where you have independent controls over all of the different elements, like I said. So I actually created one and I have it right here. So RW4, under dash M4, under dash HS, under dash IDM. So I have created one and it was based off of the main one. So what I can do is I can actually select that and the only edit I made in that is I moved the the date down on it. So you guys will see that that move and that should be all that moves hopefully. So let's go ahead and go into quick settings. Let's go ahead and go into select home screen theme and okay for permission. And as you can see, there is the duplicate I made and then there is the one I created. So if I select my theme, I can click on okay, close settings and run the shortcut. Now, if you guys ever make a mistake, in editing these elements and stuff, it'll just go back to the default, I believe. So that's how you know if, you, if you've made a, a mistake is it'll just have that default look to it. And you guys should see some changes take effect here uh, just by switching the theme. So there you go. As you can see, the, the date moved down um, and some of the other elements moved a little bit because that's how I have the elements set up in the module four in the shortcuts app. So module four and module three are acted as independent themes and they can only adjust the elements on screen. So that is how you move all of the elements around the screen is by your theme. And then the, the overlays and the backgrounds is all independent through quick settings. So hopefully this all made sense. Um, I'll probably do another video in the future that'll get maybe even more advanced on how to uh, you know, manipulate all of the elements and all that, but it's pretty straightforward when you start customizing one of these modules, like let's go into the one I created here. If you click the three dots, pretty much if you go through here, you don't want to change uh, anything that has to do with overlays or backgrounds, because like I said, quick settings does that for you. So you don't want to touch any of that. You can change the icon set here, and then you pretty much have control over all of the elements. So if you just keep scrolling here, as you can see here is for my city, um, you have your, your X axis and your Y axis controls. So changing these values will move the name of your city up or down or left or right. And you can go through and change each element to pos position it on your screen, however you'd like. And like I said, you have the ability to do that for the home screen and the lock screen. Otherwise, everything else overlay and background is all edited from quick settings. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this very long tutorial. If you did, definitely throw me a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot here at the channel. And if you guys want to see more videos like this in the future, don't forget to click that subscribe button. This has been Jeremy, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Later.